ho 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 Merry Christmas it is Monday morning it's my day to work today overtime and I am in and a lot of test rides to do this week everybody's buying a bike for Christmas which is good so we are out on this one we're going to call a bike two because I have two of these going out so we've got bike one and bike two test rides going up and they are both echoes so we're out for a test ride and the weather is closing in hopefully I can get the test ride done before it hammers down the road and I get absolutely mingingly soaked we shall see now Next Moto Echo, disc brake to the front, a drum brake to the rear. I like little drum brakes. <laughs> and the best thing about the Echo, you're not going to get any speed in fines because you can only do 30 mile an hour. So full tank of fuel. Whee! It's windy as well. <laughs> Enough to blow you about a little bit these are so light that they do get wafted around all over the place but uh, keeping my eye on the cars behind I'm in a 30 mile an hour area anyway so you can't go any faster peoples so I'm abiding to the speed limit you need to as well and we are going to give this the hill climb Oh my god, I hear you say, RB is going to try and get to a Lex Moto Echo up a hill and do a hill climb with it. And you can probably hear it, it gets to 30 and then it just, no, uh, it don't want to know anymore. No, it's all restricted to speed. Now, someone actually came in and said, my lad's looking at getting a 50cc, but he doesn't really want to be doing 30 mile an hour unfortunately the new regulations which I think are stupid restrict anyone of 16 from doing more than 30 mile an hour I think they should up it to at least 40 or make new bikes 50cc 40 mile an hour and it makes everybody a little bit safer now obviously if you're hacking around town then you're gonna to have to watch your speedo but if you're out on the main road and those 60 mile an hour dual carriageways you want to be doing a little bit more than 30 mile an hour and keeping your eye on numpties beside you and ones in the rear view mirror right let's watch out for the roundabout i've got loads of cars behind me it's early in the morning it's just gone half past eight and i am going to be hooking first lane across there just watch the shoulder cutting in this side shoulder check always make sure you do a shoulder check before you even switch lanes keeps all the idiots away from your back ah oh, luckily I have I think that's Sean behind me from TPS Volkswagen Audi group Yeah, a little bit of a way. <laughs> He's recognised the eclipse on the back of the jacket. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> That's my two TPS boys from just down the street from us. Volkswagen Audi Group. I thought I recognised him in his big van. Good old Sean. Now, 30 mile an hour. Full throttle. Pinned it wide open. Position one. Yes, why am I doing position one? Because I've got a bicycle lane there and I, if I see anything coming in a little bit quick on my mirrors, I'm scooting in that lane. <coughs> Do not want to be occupying position two or three on a 60 mile an hour dual carriageway. If I was on a 125, then yes. But on a 50, I want to be watching that mirror like a hawk. Now, the hill climb. <coughs> if you happen to be... 12 stone like I am or a little bit heavier you will hold the speed back on one of these I do say to people if you're climbing if you're a little youngster and you're less than 12 stone you'll probably look about 28 mile an hour poor old me or anyone a little bit heavier on a 50 cc we're down to about 25 like we normally are and I've got a dirty great lorry coming in behind me but he's gone round thank you very much 
<coughs> so it just means you've got to be a bit more observant, have your senses around you, and just keep an eye on your mirrors. But she's climbing all right, we're still doing 25. Now, one of the things I am going to uh, obviously crack on about is 50cc bikes and can you unrestrict them? Yes, you can. But, as I said to the dad that came in on Saturday, and he was a biker so he knew, I said, you're not going to be riding in accordance with the licence. Anything over 30, you are breaking the law because you are governed by your licence to 28 mile an hour or less. Everyone says 30, but it's 28 mile an hour. That is what your licence states at 16. If you unrestrict it and you get uh, Uncle Plod, or Mr. Bill, as they, some people call him, sits behind you in your car and he just wants to give you a tug and he notices that you are doing 38 or 40, they are going to want to know the reason why and they're going to give you a tug. And I know because it's happened to one of the, uh, the youngsters in Milton Keynes. And he met a really crappy copper, unfortunately. He'd not got his L-plate on the back, got one on the front, oh my uh, rear number, my rear L-plate had fell off, well it should be part of your pre-checks, you should be checking that anyway, and uh, he got an instant tug for that, and obviously Cop was following him, said, uh, how come you were doing 38 mile an hour, oh, well I've, unrest I've got an unrestricted kit on it, right, okay, licence, blah blah blah, and got reported, and they took him to court for it. Right, okay, and you're thinking, all right, the judge is going to give him three points. And just due to his riding behaviour, they took his licence. Which means, when you apply to get your licence back, you're going to have to do a full test. At 16, they don't give you uh, any quarter, unfortunately. So he took his licence, which I think was a bit uh, too much, but obviously I can't mention what, how he was riding, because I didn't see the video, but yeah, he just mentioned, or oh, lost my licence, I've got to wait till 17 now to take my licence, right, well they're probably going to make you do a full test, they're not just going to give it back to you, because you were not riding in accordance with your licence, which is a bit harsh. Let's go down the other side now, we'll do a couple more hill climbs, whack some mileage on again. I will catch up with you in a few once we've come down the other side and done the boring bit around town. See you in a few. So we're coming back down the other side again, second run. And we are back out onto the chalk carriageway. And then we're going to head round town and do a little bit of round town mileage, last little bit, and we are up to speed then. So Still at 30 mile an hour, even coming down a hill, we're still at 30 mile an hour. You can't get any more out of this. But they're a great little bike. And luckily, I haven't got my eye on those behind me. Yeah, lorries are going round me. You just get one car that sits behind you at 30 mile an <laughs> hour. You've got loads of room to go round, mate. Go, go, go on. Oh, what do you expect? It's a Vauxhall right driver. <laughs> it's a Corsa. It probably won't go any faster than this. But, Lux Moto Echo, great bike, and it was the biggest selling bike yet again this year. Best selling 50cc this year. Lux Moto Echo always is. Everybody's got one because they're cheap as chips. 1449 quid to buy one of these, or 1450, shall I say? So 1449 and 99p. 1450 quid plus you obviously you're on the road for your prep, your PDI, your admin, all your paperwork, and your registration and tax on top, which they call on the road fees. So we do them at uh, I think 1649. So 1650 quid, grand enough. You're not going to go far wrong on a 50cc Echo. Obviously there are other versions, you've got the GT Max, you've got the AJS Firefox, you've got the Colt which is a 50, which is geared, and of course the uh, WK Scrambler. 
and also AJS do some 50s as well, things like the 50cc bar letter. Nice little scooter. But for popping to school, going around town, going backwards and forwards to college, or if you're a car driver and you just want something on your granddad's right, just nick backwards and forwards to work. Thing with the motorcycle, especially in the summer when all the roads are busy, you can filter. And uh, one of our guys, he actually said, he said, I go down to London every day in my car. Takes me around about an hour and a half, two hours to get into London. And I went, all right. But I take my bike, and he's got a hulking great big BMW GS. And I went, oh, take the panniers off. Oh god, yeah, panniers off. But I can do London in 40 minutes, right to central London in about 40 minutes down the M1. Nice. So it stops you sitting in traffic, and you can filter through the traffic. So motorcycling is the thing to do and it's a bit of freedom it makes you concentrate more because you've got your wits around you all the time you're constantly watching your mirrors you're constantly watching the road you're constantly watching for car drivers if you're in a car unfortunately you're surrounded by a nice cage you've got the warmth you're sat in a seat it's luxury you're nice and hot and you've got a bit of music playing and your senses are totally taken away from everything else that is going on around you which is why car drivers are such a pain in the backside and can't drive half of them can't drive to save their life because they're too busy fiddling with the radio listening to music or playing with their phone or having a go with sat nav that's all right you all pull out on me yeah go on where is van driver going is he going in the left lane to turn left I don't know. Where's your indicator, Mr. Van Driver? See what I mean? Standards of driving. Right, go. Shoulder check to the right. Notice there's a traffic light in front of me, so back off from the van and put myself in position three. My escape route should have come, come in a little bit too hot from behind. Never sit dead behind the van, because if this idiot in front decided he's missed the turning and wants to reverse, not that he should, he can't see me in the mirrors. If I'm sat dead bang behind him, I'm in his blind spot. So either sit in position one, so he can see you, or position three. Don't sit dead behind a vehicle that has no rear view mirror. You soon learn that one very, very quickly. And there's loads of YouTube videos where vans have backed, gone backwards, not seen the bike, and backed over his front wheel. Yeah. Don't think this van driver knows where he's going. I know where I'm going. Back to the garage for a cup of coffee. Come on, people. Let's go. Right. Watching that car in front. Has he seen me? Yes, he has. Go around the corner. So, we're all done on that one. Back to the garage we go. Cup of coffee. Now, a couple of things going on this week. And if you're watching this video right to the end... Mud Vlogger Quiz is going on. So if you fancy uh, doing my little quiz, 12 Motor Vloggers, because we did 10 days of Christmas. Someone said it should have been uh, 12 days of Christmas. All right, so we've done uh, 12 Motor Vloggers instead. Pop up, have a look at my quiz. There are some lyrics on screen. Identify the Motor Vlogger by their little quirky lyric that they use when they finish their outros. Are they going across a zebra? No. And uh, answers on an email to me, please. If you get all 12 correct, a little box of goodies coming out for the new year. And it's a free to enter quiz, no fees. It's my little bit of giving something back to the motor vlogger world. I've got, got loads and loads of goodies. And I believe Peaky's gonna probably chuck in a t-shirt as well. Wednesday night this week we have Peaky Biker live stream. It's going to be a fantastic night. We have got Weirdy, I think it's Weirdy Good TV coming on. Me, Exeter Rider, and a couple of other motor vloggers who I can't remember at the time because I've got so much going on in my head at the moment. But Wednesday night, 8 p.m., do not miss it. I'm going to be advertising it over the next couple of days because it is going to be a mammoth night. And then, of course, Friday night, my live stream, Peaky won't be there because he's going out to a wedding. But I have a special guest as well. 
which is going to be good and I am holding back on that when I'm not telling you who it is until they turn up in the stream but it is someone very very well known and it's not the bald guy that flies planes <laughs> wouldn't let him on my channel uh, but yeah that is that and then obviously we've got Christmas New Year and then for the New Year Believe it or not, we are going to Super Sausage. Yay! We're having the first run of the New Year at Super Sausage. That will be the first weekend after New Year. Weekend after that, me and Peaky are out for a ride for Peaky and Rev. We go for food and a bev. Oh yes, the food channel's coming back again. So that is going to be another good one. So keep your eye out for that. And of course the Christmas Eve live stream mustn't forget that with Dibber in the wind wine o claws we are going to be on that channel as well so i'll put them all up this week all on the facebook page i'll be doing little videos for youtube advertising them but echo all done we are 11k in happy days all hunky dory done and dusted and obviously monday is our day closed so everything all the shutters are down but Feels out working on the car. Lexmoto Echo, all test ridden and done. So if you're interested in Lexmoto Echo, Eclipse Motorcycles, and you can find us on the web, Eclipse Motorcycles MK.co.uk. And telephone numbers down the bottom as well. So give the bike sales team a call if you want anything from 5125 right up to our big used bikes up to 1300cc. That's the Lexmoto Echo from myself rb and the guys at eclipse motorcycles have yourself a great christmas be well ride safe and as always from rb it's a big goodbye from me